This message is for Libra. This is the message for the remainder of March 2023. Remember, this is only for entertainment purposes only. Take what resonates. If it doesn't resonate, that's fine. If it does, comment down below, like, and subscribe. Libra, this is a message for you. Okay, Libra, these are your cards for the remainder of March 2023. First card we pulled was a Five of Pentacles. Second one was a Seven of Swords and a Six of Pentacles. <clears throat> so the Five of Pentacles is mostly about... I feel like you have had, you Libra have had a lot of responsibilities um, and you've been handling all your responsibilities and maybe they have been a little bit overwhelming um, to the point where you need help. And this is just a reminder that there is help. You just have to be aware of the help and accept the help. Um, that you need be clear on what it is that you need help in and the person is there the help is there so that's the first one that we have if you need help there is help and accept the help that you are going to get the seven of swords is mostly um energy you know, you've been having more responsibilities <clears throat> and just to be uh, focused and um, strategize on what your plans are as far as all those new responsibilities that you've had. Um, and yeah, just being very focused. And also this is, I feel like this is like a karmic um, card so be careful on what you do or say stay balanced libra as you usually do because whatever you do can come back onto you whether it's good or bad and i think that goes um side to side with the next card that you have which is the six of pentacles which is a exchange of energy so um, you might be receiving a, a gift, um, a scholarship, money um, that is very much needed at this time. And just know that, um, again, this is energy that you put out that comes back to you. And so, you know, whenever you have that... Um, whenever you have also remember to give to whoever needs um again staying in balance really planning out and staying focused as far as your plans your how you're going to delegate all these responsibilities that you have um and not feeling overwhelmed and or alone in your situation because there is help you are going to receive help. You are going to receive um, money or a scholarship or some sort of gift. Um, but just remember that also this is an exchange of energy. So as you receive, also give so that you can continue that cycle. Let's pull two cards of the self-care oracle cards two cards for libra let's see let's see two cards for libra please two cards for libra okay sync with the moon and a massage again so that goes in with the maybe all the responsibilities, the tension that you've been feeling. Hey, maybe you've been feeling like, oh, I've been doing this all alone and nobody to help me. Get a massage, take some time off, balance yourself. Remember, you're a Libra, so you are always looking for balance. So take some time off, schedule a massage. And the mantra for this card is, I am, 
I'm fully relaxed and in peace in my body. And the message is, bodies love to be touched. Massages are a vital part of self-care because most people live with some amount of discomfort. Sometimes specific places in our bodies scream out for attention through pain, while others make more subtle requests through stiffness and limited mobility. Before you start a massage, scan your body from head to toe. Feel into the areas where you're holding tension. Set the intention of releasing your physical and emotional discomfort during the massage. If it's within your budget, book a massage with a professional as a royal treat for yourself. Alternatively, create a relaxing space at home with, a su with subtle lighting, arom aromatherapy, and candles, and by setting an intention. Massage your hands and feet, exploring refle reflexology techniques or your own intuitive movements. You can also ask a loved one if they'd like to exchange massages with you. Remain mindful throughout the process and see what comes up for you on a physical, emotional, and spiritual level as you give and receive the gift of touch. A journal prompt for this one is, what part of your body needs massage right now? So again, a lot of responsibilities <clears throat> and new responsibilities and you've been doing great but also remember to take care of yourself to find balance um within your life within your emotional and maybe you've been feeling that in your body so um schedule a massage or get a massage or maybe do a spa treatment at home okay and then the next one is sync with the moon and the mantra for this one is I embrace my ebb and flow, my many phases and the cycles of life. And it says, the moon is a powerful celestial entity that reflects the flow of our cycles and the many phases we go through. Look up the current moon phases for guidance on which energy will serve you best at this time. So it gives you the different um, moons, moon phases. Um, and let's see, throughout the moon cycle, tracks how you feel, how you are feeling. Notice how your energy waxes and winds and how your sexual appetite fluctuates. Also, if you are a female and in your bleeding years, track your moon phase that's present when your menstrual cycle begins and ends. This is a beautiful exercise to do over a long term so that you can see more trends and how your cycles relate to those of the moon. Be sure to keep an eye out for a local moon gathering you can join, or if there's one in your area, host your own, or if there isn't one in your area, host your own. A general prompt for this is, after spending a month tracking your energetic, sexual, and other cycles throughout the moon phases, what has been illuminated for you? So that was the self-care oracle card. So getting in touch with your cycles, with the moon, getting back into your body. Maybe you've been feeling aches and pains. You've definitely been stressed because of all these new responsibilities. And the next uh, card that we're pulling is from the angels and ancestors oracle card and the card that we have is see the eagle see from a higher perspective so let's see what the message is for the eagle um and it says look at the things from different angle fly higher and see new perspectives Eagle medicine swirls around you, encouraging you to re recognize that your views and vision may be limited at this time. Is there a chance that your own desperation, needs, or ego could be blocking you from seeing the potential in your current situation? If there are other people involved, you are being guided to see things from everyone's perspective. 
If you are feeling the need for something to change, how can you take a higher road? Know that if your intentions aren't for the highest good, it would only hold you back. Ego medicine can help you change this. The ego brings the energy of healing and love directly from the heart of Father Sky and invites you to do all things from a place of love. So I think that relates to the um to the earlier cards that we pulled. So again, remember that whatever you put out comes back to you and um and yeah, so just stay focused, accept the help, ask for help, take some time off, get a massage, get in sync with the moon and the cycles and keep track of how you're feeling and how your body's feeling and i'm excited for you libra let me know if this resonates thank you so much